Hello everyone, today I will be replacing the lithium polymer battery in this Cosma robot. It don't work with old battery anymore and don't hold charge. So that's where I will be using instructions from internet to disassemble it. I hope I will learn something new and share with you how to do it easier and get better access to the replacement part because everything I've seen so far on the internet, I didn't like. So let's see how it goes. Let me start removing the wheels and see you soon. And here guys, I removed these top covers. Those are a little bit tricky to remove, specifically the big one, uh, because we need to pop two at once, otherwise it will not work from these wheels. Uh, and back wheels, like if you push one, they will pop up and will work. Uh, next, remove the screws and get inside to remove other screws and get into to replace this battery. I've watched videos, it's it's tricky job. So see how it will go. See you soon. Hello everyone. <laughs> Today I'm working on the battery replacement in the Cosmo Smart Robot. It's a really neat, nice device. I bought like years ago for my daughter, but over years the battery gave up. So that's the original battery. I just pull it out and a 3.7 volt, 320 milliampere. I'm installing a little bit bigger. It should still fit. It's uh, 620 milliampere, all right. So I hope it will work longer. Um, couple tricks. You may find uh, lots of video how to disassemble this robot. No one video shows that if you remove this white piece here, you would have access to the two super teeny screws which holds arms. When you can remove arms, I was able to pull out one arm. Other arm sits on the connection which I was not able to pop up. This one has tools as well, as you may see right here. But I was lucky, I was able to pop it out. All right, and then you have to pull up the board and desolder battery. So here is the red wire on the right and black wire on the left. And these two soldering points is for this uh, connector which uh, allows to charge the battery. Um, to tell the truth, everything is made to the point that like, you would not disassemble it. Many hidden screws, many parts really you have to pop up unless you don't do it, you don't have access to the screws and so on. And better install it in like, most, uh, like, in the place where you can get access only when you like, remove all other parts. All right. So now I will be in the process of assembling it back. So that's the teeny motors which operate these arms. They work with the uh, gear multiplier, I believe. And that's the motor which allows like to, to drive this thing. All right, now this will be time for assembly. I hope I would be able to do it quickly and show you the final result. All right, while well, I was assembling, finally the right arm disconnected. So you may see the tooths and there is a hole. So it can be pulled out only in one position. All right, then it will be like rather fully up, which we cannot do like far down which we can't do either, <laughs> all right? So I have to install it and then I connect on the front side, all right? Oh my, overcomplicated made so like you don't disassemble it ever, see you soon. So I'm in the process of assembly. So three main screws. One is here in the hole, one is here in the hole, right there, and one on the arm which holds the head, they hold it together. 
There is two screws on the red piece, which holds back cover and front cover together. All right. Uh, to install this arm, we have or remove. We have to remove the top arm first. Otherwise, this arm will not have enough space to rotate and be removed. All right. So you have to push the shaft in, and then you will have enough space to rotate up and remove this arm. All right, and make sure that the wires which you put here for the head connector, those goes in the channel, so they tend to get in between two parts, and I spend some time aligning them, all right? So moving on, now we need to assemble the head and head this nice OLED display, all right, and camera. And this is a speaker on top of the head. Let me start assembling it, see you in a moment. All right, moving forward. So as you may see, assembled arms, assembled the head. Head assembly is the pita. So there is a spring from, I believe from this side, when you have to put it in and like make sure that it will be sit tight on the like middle arm. And there are two more shafts, one which holds the display in place right one on the back to connect two parts together and you have to align display so it sits in place uh, both shafts central shaft top speaker piece front cover for display because it's it's cannot be installed later everything needs to be installed all together spring it pushes it apart so you have to hold it and install four screws in the head, two on this side and two on the other side. A little bit tricky, right? Now I have to install these red pieces to close this head, the wheels. So there are two screws, like one is here, one on the opposite side, which holds the front piece together. And that's it. Let me finish it and I show you assembled robots and let's see how it will charge see you soon. All right, everyone. And here robot is assembled. So it's rolling away from us. <laughs> With new battery, I haven't seen any sign of life yet. I believe I need to set it to the charger and instruction is like pull it twice up uh, to see his Wi-Fi password. All right. So that would be it. I hope you like it. it. It's a little bit higher level than beginners, but if you can do it, you may think about repairing cassette decks, as you've seen on my channel. All right, that would be it. Thank you. See you and bye bye. All right, finally everything worked. We just played with the game when Cosmos stacked, coops one on other like that. So couple other games. Ah, uh, it's happy. Cosma! Come on. Alright. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed.